Yas, hey, Yas, 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 which hey, Chucks, with my in the studio. Hello. This has been quite a long time. We're back. Yeah, man. Yeah, Monday we was messed up. Our mics, uh, we had a couple power outages over uh, this last week. Everybody just ain't paying the light bill up. <laughs> <laughs> the the yeah, yeah, the light bill, so we, you know, we had a couple power outages for a couple hours, and I guess the system was messed up. But you know, we back today. You know what I'm saying? We coming back with these bangers and these nice topics for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Something we was trying to do for a while now. Yeah, we've been waiting. And now we're going to get it going for y'all because I know y'all missed this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to our new listeners. Like, you know, we got Ivy over there. Hey! hey. hey. Where's she? Michigan? Hey! From Michigan. Michigan. Lashes. Hey. Lashes. Hey. I just tuned in today. She flexing. She flexing. Hey! Yeah! Hey! 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 She grown. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> she got her own money. Ooh, yeah. Hey. The birds and the bees. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Hey. hey, we gonna just chill out, man. We over here turned up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a nice day. You just went and hit the yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, at practice, we locked up the offense today. Yeah. yeah. It, it was, was so hyper, man. It was real disgusting. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And I act like I, I read the book and I just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm just, man. I was answering all the questions. I took you, man. I just need no answers. I had a coach assign us this book to read. You know what I'm saying throughout camp, and everybody has to read the book certain times, and just nobody knows the answer to these questions. And he asks us at the end of practice every day. And I asked the wow. question. I asked an easy question yesterday, <laughs> but today. Kendall and Avery all over the place. Ah! I didn't know the answer. I didn't know the answer. Oh, I, was the right, oh, I was on the mall. I was getting them right though. I was on the I was on the mall. I was on the mall. I was on the last shot. David. Yep. That was how these schools were going. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You just got to work with what you know. You got to grab the grass. Yeah. yeah. Oh my so, God. So what can I do? I can do a little push up for having the wrong answer. So that means I was good. I gave no answers. I was just like, I got you, bro. Let's start a quick 10 for him. That's all good. Yeah, it's silly, man. But yeah, so you know today, Wordplay Wednesday. Uh, we trying to uh, make sure everybody got some bars in. I, I ain't really ready, man. I've been. Crack this screen. Yeah. Did I? Randy's still upset. Did I crack my screen? Uh, but yeah, you know, today, Wordplay Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to. Um, I'm trying to get my stuff together, though, because I ain't writing no bars down. Man, but you know. playing around, man. Hey, me and you, so all the right side of the room is on their on grind. We got bars ready. The left side of the room is playing around. Give you, me some time, because, you know, at the end of the day, I might just have something ridiculous for you. I need something. You know what I'm saying? We got a song. Hey, hey. We need Two a reservation, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so, you want to call in with y'all bars as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, mistake. If you got spoken words, you got poems, you got raps called in today. Anything. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, Randy said he's tired of spoken word. I told you the bars, man. You told me that earlier. I mean, I mean, a lot of poems. I told J.D. the other day. I said, look, man. But there's a difference between a good poem and a, a bad one. There's a difference. There's no problem with poem. I just want to get a bar. I want straight bars from y'all, too. That's all you had to tell me. You found out the poem last week, but you know what I'm saying? It was great. It was awesome. I thought it was a I want to hear bars. All right. Okay. That's all you had to tell me. You know what I'm saying? too. My boy had nothing but metaphors. I never saw he had to tell me. There was no sex of I want to hear bars. Nah, y'all fooling around though. He wants to straight fire from Avery. All right. Hey, y'all Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Because Randy wants us to step outside the spectrum, and Randy has a notepad full of random raps. How about you write a poem, Randy? And I want to hear fire. How about that? In how much time we got left? About two hours. Write a fire poem like I did in ten minutes. Wow. Yeah, I'm mean, last week. He's trying to challenge challenge you now. You're challenging us. He's challenging you. Challenge. Hey, 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 I don't have an arsenal hey, full of bars written down. Avery not talking to you, right? Hey, bro. That's hey, right. Right. Hey, man. Hey, you want to let Avery talk to you like that? Oh, I swear. Man. I swear. You gotta know it. He acting like you ain't got it. Wow. He ain't talking. That's crazy. That is crazy. crazy. Right, I want to go to the notepad on I want to give a shout out, though, to. Um, you know, uh, Dom and the, and the soccer team, they squad. Well, I was just over there. They said, you know, they said they think we should just go big with this radio stuff because we're hilarious. So, you know what I'm saying? I take that on yeah, top of that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, tell them about the banquet we was just at. Hey, 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 about, yeah, we was just at a banquet. Media banquet? Yeah. Um, big shout out Big Rob. Yeah, man, Robin. Oh, shout out Robin. Everybody in MCC. I feel like Robin didn't get enough recognition today. She didn't like that. 
We got a song for the world today, so, uh, for the show, so at the banquet. So clap for us. Yeah. Nobody's doing it. Shout out to us. Yeah, we man. the first ones doing this. They talk, they, they, even talk, they even talk about how we get 20 calls an hour. Yeah. And we, nobody ever used this phone before we did, so yeah, man. man. We definitely do all big things. Yeah, well, even one of the ladies in there even address us as celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no, man. you said that name was celebrities. <laughs> she was funny. As you as right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, right yeah. there, introduce the topics to us today, so yeah, yeah, man. Man. Yeah. We got uh, two new topics for y'all. We wanted to switch it up, no, man. We, we known for slandering women from some of our viewers, or listeners. But we're going to switch up the topic on y'all today. We have uh, the free nipple movement. No, you boy. guys are aware of that. Let's, hold on, man. Let's, you gotta, it, that's just too smart, man. Take control then, Avery. Well, take okay. control then, cuz. The question is, okay. we that's a subtopic, free nipple. But the question is, are women still equal today? Is there feminism in 2015? Because some people, I know there's some people that sit up here and they say that feminism, there's just no point to it now because women are seen as equals. So my question to y'all is, are women equal? Are they doing big things today in today's world? Are they? That's my question. So the other topic, go ahead, Randy. And all, going off of that, I mean, are they doing big things in this world? It's easily going to be a yes for that. But are they being um, recognized? Not not even recognized, but are they being held back as well? That's 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 uh what's, what we're going up off of with that. But uh, we had a free nipple free the nipple movement. It's a new movement in 2014. It just happened. It's just going on currently. A lot of celebrities are getting involved. If you don't know about it, we'll, we'll shed some light on that for you guys. And um, Avery, hit this, hit this other topic for me. Okay. So my other one was, um, there were a lot of single moms out there today. Um, young, uh, a little bit, you know, another generation like like my mother's generation. Um, and they and they got the job done. They, they got their kids through it all. They figured, you know, a way out. And, you know, they just got the job done all, all together. How come they didn't get, and my question is, how come they didn't get any recognition for it? How come they didn't get recognized? How come they didn't get a shout out? How come they didn't get something from society? Other than that, um, and my other question is, why does society always see single moms as the stereotype and they just can't do it? That's my question. And those right. are our topics for today. We are empowering women, so we're not gonna slander today. We're not gonna. That was slander today, man. We're not gonna. Yeah, I, I don't want to catch nobody. Which one do I, I don't know who said recognition. Recognition. I don't know. That's not even a word. Wow. Oh, was it Avery who did that? <laughs> Might have been Avery talking too fast. It just wasn't me. <laughs> it might have been me. No, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was you. gonna put this song up, man. Uh, you know what? You know what I'm saying? Right We're gonna just go ahead. Hey, but that's uh, what we gonna but leave. Thanks for, but thanks for catching me. I appreciate you. <laughs> wow. Man, you special. You loyal. You smart. Wow. I appreciate you. On the early side, I'm gonna put this. <laughs> wow. On the early side, I'm gonna put this number out there. Thanks for the call in. <laughs> 419-448-2200, you want to recall in with these, um, with these, and hit these topics with us, and especially for the bars later on. But uh, we'll be right back. Birds and the Bees, we out. What's good, everybody? You locked in to the Birds and the Bees, live from Heidelberg University on WATI 88.9. All right, we back. I right, just had to play a couple songs for y'all, but... uh Look for you, baby. You know, uh, <laughs> I want to come in, uh, before we got to our topics, I want to come in and drop this uh, current event. Drop some knowledge on you. Yeah, yeah, I always got some knowledge. Yeah, um, knowledge. Hey, yeah, well, just for some reason, it always comes down to the uh, same subject of police brutality and misuse of power. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna hang on it though. I'm not gonna hang on. Just gonna be a current event, just to you know let y'all know what's going on. So, uh, so on April second, uh, there was a guy named Eric Harris. Uh, so apparently he was. He was going to, uh, they said he was going to sell a, a gun to a, a undercover security or police officer. So they had a, a whole video of this uh, from the dash cam in the car all the way to a, uh, you know, a body cam on a police officer in, um, in Oklahoma. That's where it was at, in Oklahoma. And uh, so there was a, re a reserve police officer. And um, I guess he was going to uh, sell the gun to the guy. And, um, you know, he had it in a bag. And I guess they said, you know, when they went, when he went to give him the gun, uh, more police cars pulled up, and he uh, so he just like he he had the gun in the bag. He just dropped his bag and he started running. Uh, he gets he runs for like a good two minutes, and from a parking lot all the way to a street, and in the middle of the street, more car cars pull up. He's unarmed at this point, by the way. And uh, the police, you know, they put they pull up on him and they tell him to stop or whatever. And and one of the police officers with the body cam on him catches up to him and, and tackles him. So at this point, it's a uh, 
like two or three officers surrounding him. They're all detaining him. You know, he's not fighting it. They're putting him into like they're trying to get him in the handcuffs and stuff. And the officer just shot him, just right in his like his shoulder, and shot him in the shoulder. And then on the on the camera, you can hear him say through his body cam, you can hear the man say, um, "Oh man, I just accidentally shot this guy." How close was he to him? He was sitting, sitting on top of his back, back like top sitting on his back, he was on top pulled of his gun out and shot him in his shoulder. Yeah. Wow. So and he he said, "Oh man, I just shot this guy," and um. And then, you know, he was just like, the guy was on the ground screaming, of course he was black. And this was on video too, This right? is all on video. Yeah. All this on, on the body cam. All in the body cam. So, uh, and then he mistakenly, say he say he grabbed the gun on mistake, but yeah. he was actually, like, he, he was reaching he, for the taser. He said he was reaching for his taser. He said he was for stun gun. With stun gun. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. grabs yeah. his gun and, and accidentally shot him in his shoulder. Okay. So, uh, the guy's bleeding out and, and crying and screaming like, oh, he just shot me for nothing. I didn't do nothing. He shot me. And the other police who are swarming around him to catch him are like, you know, you ran. You know, shut the F up. You ran from the police. Blah, blah, blah. You ran. He was like, but you shot me. I, I didn't do nothing. And he was like, and then he, he proceeded to say, I'm starting to lose my breath. And then another cop said, F your breath. You shouldn't have ran from the cops. And, but, but you forget the part, though. With, like, with saying all that. They had a knee. They had a head. knee on this guy's head. Why yeah, he was already submissive from the beginning. Once he got tackled, it wasn't like he was trying to get back up and run. Once he got tackled, his arms were behind his back. He was, you know, you know, he was ready to get, you know, cuffed. I've never understood that. And and so after the guy shot him, he, they put a knee on his on his on his face while he's in the ground. He's bleeding out, and he's just like, uh, you know, f your breath. You know what I'm saying? You should never run from the cops. And the guy. And then after that, they just like, he was just like, they kept on detaining him until the video went off. Um, and then later to find out that the guy died, yeah. uh, Eric Harris died. He was a middle-aged man and he died. And, you know, that's just a current event I wanted to drop on y'all. Just some ridiculous cops again. But he was a, but, but then again, the officer was a, um, he was a reserve cop. Um, he was, a, he was an advanced reserve uh, deputy officer. Um, so which means he had all the, all the power to do what like a regular, op, like a regular officer could do. Um, so that's why he took it upon himself to do what he did in the first place, to pull out the stun gun when he wasn't told to, and to attempt to stun the guy and calm him down, but instead put on his 38. So I mean, what was the age of this guy? Man, you guys say he was 75. Yeah, the cop was. Like I say, 70, he was that 70, old. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 73 years old. The cop. The cop who shot him was 73 years old. Wow. Yeah, it is. I was like, when y'all told me that, I was like, wow, I didn't even know you were alive. Still allowed to be on the force stage. No, but he's in the he's in the reserves. So he's not really doing a lot. But I mean, he does, but he doesn't. If that makes sense. I guess. But slide that to me real quick. Yeah, but on the um, you know, on another note, I'ma just, you know, I'ma slide to something that we was talking about um last week about the um the Walter Scott shooting with the um you know the guy who got shot eight times, eight times in the back. Yeah. You know, I mean if, if y'all not familiar with it, pretty sure y'all are by now. But you know, when we covered that, we you know we were talking about how, you know, CNN specifically, you know, they tend to when they when they put out articles about this type of stuff, they said they tend to like, you know, spin the artist, you know, spin the title right. to make it, you know, just create hysteria around it, you know what I'm saying? So you know, I, I mean, it was funny, though, because, you know, I was in class this this week on Monday, you know, my psychology class, and, uh, you know, shout out to Dr. Stark, you know, her husband, you know, he's a big fan of our show, so we appreciate that, yeah. but, um, you know, she brought it up, and she brought up the uh, the case, and she was just explaining it to the class, but as she explained it, what I really, what I, what I really appreciated, though, was she never said one time that he was a black man, all he said was that it was an officer, all she said that it was an officer, and that she shot this man eight times in the back, and the shooting led to the, the shooting led the shooting was because he you know had the missing tail light and you know he owed child support payments and he started to run you know never did she say the race of him or the or race of him or the cop you know she explained how she should have and then even with that you know the class you know the some some people in the class still gave some you know crazy opinions on well he, well he ran so he deserved to get shot I mean I'm like okay but I mean, that's neither here nor there. As long, I'm just glad. I, I just really appreciate she, it. She presented yeah. it the way yeah, that she I, did. Yeah, I'm glad she presented it the way that she did. Cause I mean, that's that's how it should be. It shouldn't always be about you know, well, was he black or was he white? Was right. he black or white? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, yeah, I just I mean, I just had to say a little bit about that. 
But we ain't gonna stay too long on the police brutality and all that. We don't need to. Yeah, man. We we were already gonna smoke our piece on it. You know what I'm saying? That's smooth. She showed with the double blind. Yeah. Or flash it. Oh, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um, all right, let's go ahead and hop into this topic. Yeah, but um, like you were saying, is um, femi- is feminism relevant? Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I want to say that one for later. I think I want to do the first one first about the single moms. Okay. okay. All right. We'll go ahead. I'm in the air with you like that. Take man. over there. You got it. I'm in the air with you like that, dog. Um, there are a lot of single moms out here today, and we know that. Um, matter of fact, Kendall is a numbers man. And Kendall told me to look up. Um, Man, it's that. I know. He told me. He told me to look up some numbers. <laughs> and I went on Google and I found a census from what was that, 2012, and it said that there was 117 million households in the U.S. at that point in time, and it said 31 million of those were single parent households. And you no, know, I mean, if you were a person of numbers like Kendall, that's a big stat. Ridiculous stat. <laughs> 31 million. Yeah, out of 117 million, 31 million are single parent homes. So, with saying that, there's a big stereotype about how um, single moms or single parents, no, single moms. We're not even going to do single dads today because this is just not your day to day. (laughs) (laughs) So, there is a stereotype um, stereotype (laughs) that, uh, that single moms just can't raise a man. You know, there's the there's a stereotype talking about how, well, they've never been a man, so how can they raise a man? How can they teach a man to do things that um <laughs> to do things that uh they've never done before? And yet there are miraculous women out here who have done it and they um and they are happy about it. Miraculous women. Miraculous women. <laughs> My mom is one, Kendall's mom is one. Uh, I even know a younger uh, female named Satara who great mom. Soft shout out. She's a young generation. So our question is why is um why is that a stereotype? Why is it stereotype that, that single moms just can't get the job done when it comes to raising boys especially? Quick question though, we keeping it general or we we breaking it down to African American? No, we're gonna keep it general. Yeah, we can do that. Gotta do general. Bet, bet. Okay, well, you know, all right, I'll try and uh start this one off. Alright, why is it a stereotype that that women can't raise a man? Alright, I feel like uh if if there was a stereotype, I'll just tell you uh Alright, my fault. <laughs> Alright, I play uh stereotype. Um well I just lost my train of thought somebody was at the door, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh yeah, it threw me off. Alright. <laughs> but uh I feel <laughs> I'm tripping right now. Alright, yeah. So well for real he annoying man. <laughs> hey, get up through cuz <laughs> Oh, just wait, just wait, dude. Alright. Well, well, I feel like they feel like a man could overpower a woman. So I feel like you know, you know, when like a guy is defiant to his mother, she can't discipline him. When he gets of age, like when, I'm you know, when he gets older, teenager. you know, what I'm saying to be like, you know, I'm not gonna listen to this lady or something, or, or they want to just defy their parent. They feel like they can't punish him uh, in a hard enough way Heck that man. would make, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> that would make, you know, what I'm saying, no yeah, exactly. rule breaking. You ain't you, talking to Avery. You disagree with that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm not saying I disagree. I'm saying that um, once again, because we are being general. A lot of, I mean, that is probably a thought that you know when right. they, you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. When you look across the board like yeah. that, I mean, I mean, like not, I mean, like not when they little kids, but when they get older, right, saying right. like, okay, well, it gets to a point where they're going to be stronger than you. They want to be, you know, right. more yeah. powerful than you. You know, you really can't stop them. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. if like like as a as a mother, she can't physically, you know, what I'm saying as she once could. Yeah, okay. defer you from doing what you want to do. I hear you yeah, coming I from. Understand. I hear you coming from the physical aspect of you just being a, being able to overpower your mother at a certain age. But as far as like instilling those values, where do you see that? Her right. being able to instill the same values, if not better values, than a man would be able to. Well, I feel like she she can to a certain extent, but she just. As again, like how every said, like she didn't live the life of a man, she so she doesn't know everything about being a man. Like we couldn't tell our daughters about periods because we haven't experienced it's a period. So it's not like it's not something that we can like, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't be like, you know what, I feel like you should use this tampon instead of this pad because of it's more comfortable. Because I wouldn't know the difference. Because right. you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't know. I can't my tell mom, my daughter. Uh, that. My mom's just when I used to ask her about this, 
Um, she used to just hit me with a simple quote. I, I've asked her about it multiple times. She hit me with the same quote. Um, and it was, <laughs> well, I keep losing my train of thought. Um, the quote was, a dog can't teach a fish how to be a fish because the dog has never been a fish. Exactly. I agree with that to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? It's not like they don't know things that they don't know. Exactly. I mean, and then on top of that. I never said that. We were talking about I mean, like, you know, certain, certain, certain I mean, things. Yeah, and then on top of that, it's like not all. I mean, even if your father's not in your life, I'm saying like you still go find an alternative male figure to look up to as as a father. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your uncle or, you know, uh, you know somebody else's dad that you real cool your with. Brother? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your, right. brother, your older brother. Like, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of other, you know, male figures out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, parents? Yeah, yeah. It takes a village to raise a child. It does. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm talking about. Talking about exactly, exactly. See, but it's more of an impact because you see a mother every day. Every right. single day. You know, you might not be that comfortable to go to somebody else. But you might be comfortable to go, you know, go to your mom about that. You might. You never know for real. I mean, it's all about the type of uh, relationships you got. Yeah, it's all so, I mean, it's all so to answer your question about the about the values, uh, Randy, I think I'm gonna go Kendall and I'm gonna say that she can to a certain extent because um, you said she can't. She can. She can. Okay. She can. Like my mom taught me a lot, but there's certain things that I couldn't learn from her because she just wasn't a man. And then you had to learn on your own. See, so there's stuff I had to learn from being on the streets with my friends, or learning from another male figure like you said. Right. Give, give me an example real quick. Oh, something that I, that I couldn't learn from my mother. Yeah, yeah. Um, how to how to manage my money like a man. Or for or for example, my mom didn't my mom didn't teach me that every time you're supposed to go out with a female, you're supposed to pay for her, regardless. Pull out chairs, all that. But the one thing my mom did teach me, right, is to always open up the door for a female. My mom would stop at a door when we going somewhere until I open it. Yeah. <laughs> my mom didn't say that. <laughs> uh, old school, my man. Savage yeah, way. Mom with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. See, I agree. You know what I'm saying? They can teach you. They do teach you things like that. That your father should be there to teach you. But you know what I'm saying? You don't need. It. But oh, let's let's get back into the sports aspect. What about that? Like you know, how does your mother? You know what I'm saying? I don't know too yeah, many. That's a good I don't know that many females you know, that can really throw this, football that well. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll take this one. Go ahead, yeah, sorry, man. Mommy, no food. My mom was, my mom was, I got, I got blessed with a mom that just knows everything about all sports. My mom would have me in the backyard trying to tackle her um, and catch football and not be afraid. My mom was the first one to put a baseball in my hand. She had me outside the backyard trying to hit a ball and not be afraid and taught me how to catch. That's what my mom, my mom was a sports guru and that's just what she did. Like she ran track in high school, softball, everything. She was just a guru. All I heard was you was getting trucked by moms. Yeah, that's <laughs> all I heard. Pretty <laughs> much, just like, you know, like, for example, just like this though. Um, yeah, I was getting trucked by my mom, but it was to teach me how to, you know, be tough about it. Um, or just like when, um, I was about to, or just like when I was about to go to school, I remember this, uh, I was about to start kindergarten. My mom got down on her hands on her knees and she pushed me around. She said, what you gonna do if somebody do this? What you gonna do if somebody do that? She kept pushing me around, sapping me until I put my hands up and I start shoving her around too. She's like, okay, now good. That's what I want you to do. What you know, stuff like that. Yeah, see, that stuff like that, my mom just was an anti-violent type of person. Yeah. She, she was a, a pacifist, anti-violent. I went, my mom knows. My mom knows. Everybody gonna be that lucky, but you. That's what I'm saying. My mom knows nothing about sports, man. I'm talking about one time. Man, it's it's on Sunday. We we watching the Browns on TV. We watching the Browns on TV. They playing the Miami Dolphins. And so, mind you, it's snowing outside of Cleveland, right? So my mom look at the TV and say, "The Browns at home, right?" Oh God. And I'm looking like. I looked outside at the white snow, <laughs> and then I looked back at the TV in the sunshine down in there in Miami, and I was just like, "Why, <laughs> baby, mom?" I was just like, "No." <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's silly right there. That is silly, man. Like, <laughs> oh my god I can't, I, can't, I can't be with you on that same note one time man. I, I hate to say it man Mom if you listening don't bash me when I get home You know what I'm saying But we're watching the Bulls game man Oh god Derrick Rose is balling man I just I was just, I just, just gave like a general statement Oh yeah he, man, he eating out there He's like who is that Michael Jordan Oh, oh. 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 oh my god She oh. oh, don't even know man <laughs> Man my <laughs> Wait, hold on, man. I don't even know, man. Hey, they took the skates off, man. I'm eating dinner, man. My food fell out of my mouth, man. Did you stop? I stopped eating, man. I just 
put my juice back in the fridge and just oh, go back upstairs. <laughs> I took a nap, man. I just had to sleep on it. You should have went for a drive. Man, I want moms. Moms ain't doing nothing like that. You should for a drive. I didn't. I should have went for a drive. Oh, my God, bro. That's hilarious, man. Oh, yeah, my God. Birds and bees, bro. Birds and bees going off. Hello? Just, hey, we, we can't you hear, hear you, bro. You. Just don't want to have to bang. You have the basement reception. You're out of here. Yep, just like that. You're out there. <laughs> and he's out of here. Sorry, I he had the basement room. reception. We had to give him the <laughs> bang. 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 I know. We, we had to do it to somebody early today. Wow. Alone. But yeah, all right. You know, wait, all right, so look. Let me go. Go ahead. All right. So in the aspects of growing up with a single uh, mom, she did, you know, as, in the sports side, or in her advantage, she kept me in sports, even at a young age. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's how she, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? She couldn't play sports with me, but she, she had that's me a swimmer place. early, right. and I, and I got into t-ball. You know what I'm saying? I did a little bit of karate. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was, I did, you know, flag yeah. football. I, she put me in everything okay, as a child, so, so I wasn't, you know, what I'm saying? I, you know, to keep, to keep me there, so I wasn't, you know, what I'm saying? I wasn't clueless as to what sports were and how, how things happened. I wasn't unathletic. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what I'm saying I want to thank her for that. And then, you know. Video games. Let me get on that real you quick. You learned a lot from video games? I'll tell you about what happened with the video games. Uh, we got another caller. Yo, yo. Birds and bees going up. What's going on? Yeah, we just. Bro, we just, we just, can't, can't, hear just can't hear you. We just can't hear the caller. Oh, you can't hear me? We, you have no, a basic reception. Right at you, I know can hear me. No, we just can't hear you. Hello? I'm sorry. We just have to bang on this guy. He just bang. He was just sorry, going out there the time. Oh, he just needs to get out of the studio. Man. But let me uh, go ahead and tell you about uh, this uh, experience. So one time, uh, I had Madden in 2004. And uh, I was I, I was playing it with my mom. So I got it for New Year's one day. I, I remember. It, was the, it wasn't for New Year's. I, I, I remember the story. It wasn't for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the New Year's. And, and I played with my mom. And I think I, I chose the... A lot of problems when they had Mike Vick in the crazy team, oh, God. you know, and she chose the Browns because that's the oh, she loves the pro, the Browns, you know what I'm saying? She I anything she loves sports, she loves the Browns. So uh, she chose them and she whooped me at Madden. Oh she, my! What she did to me was oh, like, yeah. she a good one to me. She was scoring touchdowns and stuff and doing plays I just never knew she could do. And you know, and I'm not even gonna lie, I started the crying. Queen. The queen, the guy. I started crying. I started crying when she whipped me. This was PS2. Oh, this is yeah. This was this was like PS2. You know. Wow. I was real young, man. Because they think about this. She did you for? I had to be like Mike Vick on the cover. Was that nine years old or something? Yeah, she spanked me around. I remember crying. She might not remember the story. I remember I started crying and then she quit the game because I was. Oh, she had sympathy. I got the sympathy. She was like twenty-one. I might have got 21. She was whooping me. Yeah, I didn't understand. Right, man. I didn't understand what was going on. That's crazy. <laughs> so, so what did that teach you? It, it, it didn't teach me anything, but now I sucked it, man. Did it create you a savage? Like now you're the king of all games. Now I'm the king of all games. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play <laughs> games with nobody. It's over with. I don't play games with nobody. But that's just things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she played the game with me for one time. That's stuff like that that you should that you would usually do it like somebody like your brother or your father or some another male figure that she did with me. You know what I'm saying? As a youngin. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to, you know, bond with each other. And people usually don't get that type of experience if they don't have a father. They play games by themselves. If they don't have a brother, they, they would play the game by themselves. Like, their mom wouldn't come in and play the game with them. It's just stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff that kind of like that. You don't really uh, acknowledge it because it's just something it's simple. But, it, you know No, what I'm no, saying? no. Like, just like my mom's playing Wii with me. Yeah. Mom's, you know what I'm saying? Mom's something like that. Wii. That uh, you know what I'm saying, you usually have your father or male figure do that such things with right. you, but she actually did step in and play the game with me before. Right. Like so. um, let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you this. So on the aspect of puberty, okay, y'all going through puberty. Can your mom handle that? Like, can a, can a, can a single mom handle that? That's a male going through puberty, man. can they handle that? Can they my answer questions? Tried. My mom's tried, man. I'm talking about she tried to give me the. To talk once and I, I just wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't here. I wasn't, bro. Like I really, I'm like, what are we talking? Like, I'm like, I'm like, like, why are you talking to me about that? Uh, what was she talking about? Bro, I'm trying to. I, I want to say like maybe twelve. So twelve. What would she say? Like, what, what did she say? I want to say, like, what, what, what I say? I wanna know like what words could she say to you? Twelve. I don't know. She was just like saying stuff like 
you 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 growing hair and you I wasn't trying to hear that, especially from her. So it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, in that aspect, I feel like as a mother, you you really can't help me there. My yeah. mom, my mom didn't touch base on that. You know what I'm saying? Anything that I learned about my body from was from my brother yeah. through like health class. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that my mom never touched base? She didn't tell me about the hair on my face. She might say, "Oh, you you starting to get a mustache," but she's not like, "Well, you know, sooner or later, your you, your stuff's gonna drop in her." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She didn't get that deep into. And so what was going on? I, but, guess, you know I, what that, I feel like yeah, as a single parent, they they yeah, can't help you with yeah, that. Yeah. But mostly everything else, I got a single mom. Single mom can attend to. I have a good for that though, man. I got I got a real good for that. Mine was similar to Jukes's, but mine was a little bit more different. Because uh, um, <laughs> I matured early, so I was about I, I was a young boy, man. I remember. Um, he's I got. Brought, I remember brought, I got my. Ten in the sixth grade. Huh? <laughs> I was huge. I was like the tallest kid in my class, bro, like my whole life, bro. I'm talking about. Then I got like my first hair down there, man. And I was so afraid, bro. I didn't know what was going on. I was so scared. Was about to fall off. I didn't know what's going on. I'm like, man, what? I don't know, bro. What's going on? Wow. <laughs> then my mom just hit me with the, you know, you're, oh, you're going through a change in your life. Um, you know, your voice can get deeper, and you'll start getting hair. That's basically what she told me. Um, and that was it, and that's all, you know, that was at least comforting, you know, she couldn't tell me a lot, but it was at least comforting. I didn't even, I didn't even catch the talk, man. He moms, you know what I'm saying? Not even I mean, pop. I'm an action king. Not That's even pop. Like, I don't know what's going on. It was action time. I don't know why we can't hear him. I don't know why we can't hear him. Yo, yo, birds of the bee. I don't know why we just can't hear him, bro. <laughs> that, that telephone button. Yeah. Hello? Struggling right now. Oh, you hear us? She said they can't hear us. You got the headphones on? Yeah, I, I got, got the headphones, the headphones on. Yeah, it's still oh. sound low. Huh? Well, that's great. Y'all got the headphones. I can't hear anything, and I'm working the soundboard. You guys are great. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Barely. Look, man, we just got to figure out these mic. Uh, figure out the telephone, and we got to how you call us back. All right. Hold on, hold on. Hello? Nah, it was slow. Nah, it's slow. Hello, hello. Push the buttons back. I can't hear none. Hello? Bro, we right. missing them. One of them buttons supposed to be off, bro. I don't know That's which like, one is. We need Robin. We need it now. Robin? Robin? Come figure this out. Anyway, yeah, anyway. It's time. I'm going to just slide back. Is that, not a, is that not a funny story, man? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, man. It is. We're going we gonna to come right back to it uh, when we get back. We're going to get this music and we're going to figure out I don't know what's problems. going on. But Burgess B's right here. Hey, Robin. Get her magic. Yeah, hey. she did. Thanks, Robin, yeah, for doing the magic. So, um, you know, for all those people who called before, you can call in now and speak your piece on the uh, last topic that we were just speaking on. Right. Uh, but we're going to get into our new one, or you can call in and say whatever you need to say about the show. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you want me to introduce this one? Go for it, dog. Go ahead. Okay. So. The next question is, are women equal today? Do people still see women as equals? Or, my bad, let me let, let me just say this, this. Is there feminism in 2015? Is there still a need for feminism? Um, or do we just see women as equals and there's no problem with it and there's just nothing wrong with our society as a whole? That's my question. And with that, we're going to get everybody's favorite topic on free nipple. But that'll come later. So... My All right, real quick, are we speaking from a, a topic of globally or just, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about in the U.S. Okay. Because we can speak on globally because we're not there. That is true. Okay. Well, um, well, I started the last one. Somebody else can start this one off. Randy, you got the mic in your hand, so okay. you just yeah. might as well do it, boy. Might as well. Let's, make it, let's, or, or or let's make it real simple. Are women equal today? Do you see a need for feminism? Yeah, I do see a need for feminism. Um, then why is that, my dog? Women aren't equal in the workplace, man. They just get paid le uh, less wages. And uh, from, in general, uh, you know what I'm saying, in the offices and different part and different occupations, they just don't get paid the same wages for the same amount of work that men do. And uh, I don't think it's fair. But I, like I said, like the same thing goes when you talk about the issue of race too. It's a lot of reachers, man. That's one thing I'm not a fan of. It's a lot of people out here just 
just anti men. You know you it's, 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 it's a difference between. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a difference between being a, a feminist and being anti men. Really? really? Randall? Randall? No, man. Randall, before, like, Randall? Randall? before you start going crazy, remember this isn't a problem in the women's show today. This is. Please. Uh-huh. Please, please, I ain't gonna, please don't do it. Let me chill out. Cause you, let me, let me calm down. You feel the wrath coming? I'm gonna calm down. He was about to grab that microphone. I'm gonna speak to the to the women that, that aren't reaching. And no, I do see where y'all coming from, and I I, uh, I appreciate y'all grind, and I'm all for it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying, I, I'm all I'm all for it. Okay, so you all right? No, so you like putting this in there? Hey, for the cause. I just don't like the pictures. Okay, we're not on that today. Okay, so you uh, so you feel like there's me there's me for yeah, there is home. definitely. Okay, okay. don't you juice? How you feel about it? I definitely feel like it's a need for feminism, but I don't think it's a need for extreme feminism because it's two different types. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, women, yeah, that, exactly. So women, not. You know, they're not necessarily, you know, equal. I mean, as much as they should. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be because I believe they should be. But, I mean, you know, in reality, they're not. But what I'm saying is that... <laughs> what I, but what I'm saying is I, I think that, um, you know, I mean, we still got a ways to go in terms of, you know, women, you know, being equal in this society because, I mean, you know, it's, it's things such as, you know, you know, racism is still, you know, we still, you know, working our way towards, you know, eliminating that. So, I mean, in all in all reality, I mean, yeah, they're not, they not equal. I remember I was talking to Avery one day, man. He was having a conversation with a, uh, with, with the with the female. And um, she was saying, she was a real big, she real big on uh, the feminism movement. And Avery was upset in the room, man. You know how Avery gets. So, he was all hyper. He was like, man, I don't get what she coming from me. He kept me up. He kept me up from my slump. To talk for an hour about this situation. Because we talking about where he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? About, well, explain to me. I, I want to hear about this situation. All right, now it's, it's talking about. Know. All right. So this female was just just going on about. Uh, I forgot what the, what the so argument was about. Yeah, it was about Beyonce, Beyonce being a feminist because they have classes about it. Yeah. It was a uh, classes about oh. Beyonce and how Beyonce is such a. a a feminist and stands up for women and yeah, how she, she's such a she's everything for them. A leader for the for the feminist movement. Who run the world, girls? I know y'all heard the song. You know what I'm saying that's where it, that's where it stems from. But they got classes praising her for it. You know what I'm saying? And this Avery is, was this upset. This is a college course. Avery was very upset. He was like, man, what is Beyonce going through? Blase, blase. She's a millionaire. You know what I mean, she doesn't go through the same problems. You feel me? And this is what his stance on. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak for him. We gonna have this opportunity. But that's what I got from the gist of it. And um, he just continued on that. And what he was saying was, um, we have problems in this country about race to this day. So I feel like that right. should go before you know, anything about, uh, you know how about a feminist that. movement. He said That's anything, you know what I'm saying, regarding racism should go above that. And I'm going to worry about that first yep. before I get to, you know what I'm saying, harping on about women. Yep. You go ahead and speak on what you were saying, though. You, you just said everything like I feel like, um, no, I, I, I mean, in all actuality, I feel like, okay, my, I'll just take this. I'll, I'll take it from there. I don't know. I was going to agree. I was going to just ask oh. someone. I was going to agree with you, bro. No, no, I don't know. I was going to get my opinion on feminism, the whole thing oh. as a whole. Unless you want to go. No, I agree with that person and let him be doing his All right. No, I was just saying, yeah, I mean, in terms of racism, that should be handled first. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're, they're still black women. They're still you know, Asian women, they're still, you know, I mean, it's just all types of women that's still, you know, being, you know, I mean, it's, it's like, it's not racially equal. exactly, that's what I'm saying, so like, if we want, you know, gender equality, I mean, that's gonna have to, I mean, we gotta, you know, put racial equality over that, and then baby we'll steps. get the gender, yeah, baby steps. <laughs> baby steps, and all that, baby steps, I hear everybody with the baby steps, man, but it's gonna be a lot of, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of callers, and I, I can see their standpoint, they're saying, man, let's not try to break it up into different you know what I'm saying? Sections. Let's just have equality as a whole and just hit everybody, you know what I'm saying? Um right, but that starts with the game. As, as much as yeah, as much as racism, like to. racism everything in, in just one broad um, Okay, but everything right. Okay, I feel what you're saying, but yeah. everything everything gotta start somewhere. It does. Everything there always has to be that one spark that sparks the whole fire, the whole blaze and the force and everything, bro. It, it has to start somewhere. So therefore I feel as if if we're not racially equal, then therefore how can we move on to to gender equality. Exactly. How I, can we possibly do that? Okay, I agree with you to an extent, but you gotta understand that there's a, a together, you know, as a whole, there 
like women, if they were like to compile together, they would be more women than just like racial, like on the yeah, right. so, yeah. so they would have like have have women, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. More actually, more yeah, than men. So. But uh, you know what I'm saying? They they have like more people together to. So I feel like the gender movement would advance faster because of the teamwork than a racial movement would. I feel you, but at the same time, remember we was talking about you know getting jobs and all types of that. Like if you looked at it this way, between a black woman and a white woman, if if we now if we don't have a racially equal society, then who's getting that job at the end of the day? Well. I mean, it's not you didn't put the man there. There was no, there was no man. There was no man. I'm not talking no man. I'm just talking about like where's the man? I'm just talking about about women in in this, in this. Y'all know my scenario. Question. I've answered it before. I don't want to answer that. We're not about to go back. We don't put that man back into there. Okay. A white woman and a white man, or a black man and a and a black woman, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. My mom said it can be flipped. My mother just said that. We shouldn't even use that example about the black woman and the white woman, and they throw the man in there because it's just two different issues. It, it is just two, two different totally issues. different so issues. Tell her to call in and explain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my mom's yeah. already said a piece on this thousands of times. She doesn't need to call in. I want to hear it. Dude, I want to hear it. What are we really even really, really talking about now? Dude, we just got so mean? off topic. Dude, she was just, he was talking about something so ridiculous. All I'm asking is, <laughs> all I'm asking is, is there still a need for feminism in 2015? Yes. Yeah, I said that. It's just no. not extreme. Now give me a reason. It, it doesn't have to be extreme. Right. You know, it's still. And here we go. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> Version of beat is going on. Yo, I'm late. I'm here. What's good? What's, What's good, bro? Um, my thing about the the, the separation of those issues is it's it's very complicated. Mm-hmm. For one, there are separate issues, but the issue is that you cannot advance without the connection of certain aspects. For example, the the gender issue cannot be moved forward if the different races within those genders cannot come together. That's what I'm you know, yes, it, it's a great debate to have, but realistically, it's got to be a holistic vision. Like, we have to make the world better all together in order for either side to work. Like, yeah, there's more women, but... The, the, the racial separation is still there within that larger group of women. So That's what I meant. You, right? like, you know, there's more women because, I mean, yeah. white women, black women, Hispanic women, you know, whichever races that you want to try to combine, if those racial issues aren't settled first, those yeah. gender, that, that gender can't come together to move forward. You know, and it, it, you know, I feel like race has to come first almost because, like, yeah. ultimately, it's only one, you know, group of different kinds that will stick together, and that's the group of the same race right now. You know, you, know, you might have separation between men and women, or, you know, of different races, but at the end of the day, your race, no matter the gender, is pretty much going to stick together. So, so that issue is it's like it's so chopped up that you need almost, you have to settle the racial things first. All right, hey, all right, hold on. Let me see. I I agree to an extent, but then I disagree. I mean, you gotta understand. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, no, 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 it's I a good point. It's me. a great point. But you gotta think about this. You act like um, y'all, y'all act like nobody has ever like put their pride aside or put their morals aside to to work on a greater cause. You know what I'm saying? Like people will come together, no matter how they felt about the situation, to work for a greater cause. You, you see what I'm what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like they will put that that racial aside to for let me ask you a question realistically which one is more likely to happen and which which thing are people more likely to set aside their race or their gender realistically you're, you're more likely to set aside your your gender to come together as a race than you are to set aside your race to come together as a gender all right. Get all the way around the corner, somewhere so far fetched. What, out of those categories, what can be changed through modern science and modern surgery and modern study? Your gender or your race? Your, come here. Your gender. 
The thing that cannot be changed is the thing that you're going to feel more powerful, more strong about to go with, right? I mean, right. I think Michael Jackson changed his. Oh, God. No. Faith, just being realistic, the 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 I know two things. The gender can be changed semi easy. The race can be changed, which is why at the end of the day, more people are gonna stand up and fight for the race. The thing that's definitely stuck with them. You know, the thing that there's no hiding. Okay, I agree with you to that point, but I don't know, bro. I just feel like some people would come together to put for the greater cause. You know what I'm saying? There's, you know, that's one of the main things. Glavik. Glavik taught us a lot of stuff that we hated because she was annoying. But you have outliers. That's one of the basic mathematical things is no matter what stat chart, you know, not everything falls within the, the set category. And you have those outliers. Yeah, you would have people who would be like, forget my race. My woman is really stronger. But at the end of the day, you're going to have more people be like, my race has been fighting. Or, you know, even though my gender has been fighting, my race has really been fighting. You know, when, when me as a black woman was being beaten and in the field, yeah, white women couldn't do anything, but they were sitting pretty in the house. While me as a black woman and my black males were being whipped, beaten, uh, miseducated, you know. So at the end of the day, I have a little bit more in me for that. Now you also have to break it down by race because going off of what you said, now where I can agree with you is if I'm a white woman, I'm definitely going to be more eager to stand up for gender equality than race equality because as a white woman, I'm already racially higher than most. So yes, I would go for gender then. But if I'm black, if I'm Hispanic, if I'm Native American, if, if you know, if I'm any of those races that have been discriminated against, I'm going to fight for my race. Pretty much the only group that I feel would go for gender equality first would be white women. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> we all agree with that. Yeah, I agree we with we that. all agree with that. I agree with that. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. All right. All right good, good look, bro. So, so we all, so we all going with the fact that there is a need for feminism in the United States. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so with saying that, we need to get racially equal first, or what? I'm just trying to, I'm, th- I'm, I'm, trying, to like, I'm trying to generalize like, the statement. I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to come to a conclusion on this. So you asking uh, for it, for it to not be a need for feminism anymore? That's what you were asking. I mean, I mean, because I mean, isn't that what? That's what we working I mean, towards. Yeah. I mean, isn't that what the whole movement's for anyway? Isn't right. that what civil rights was for? Civil rights was so that we can, all people can be equal right. in the first place. And I don't want to say just black because that's not what. Yeah, it's not what we're yeah. Yeah, we're So that's what, I mean, so that's what feminism is trying to do, is just trying to make females equal. Right. So it's to the point where we won't need it anymore. Okay. And, I feel like, and I feel like they have made gains. Let me not say that. Yeah. I feel you know, like it shouldn't all be separated, man. It's a human rights movement, period. All of them. You know what I'm saying? As far as um, things about racism. Things about gender equality, things about so you want uh, sexuality. So you want to all be mixed. You want to all be mixed. So you want so you want so you want feminism just be mixed as yep. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see that too. Okay, okay, I could I could definitely see that. play around and mix them and let one be ahead of the other and one fall behind and that's mm-hmm. why you got you, that's why you got reachers that I hate on Twitter. Okay. So so you don't feel like one issue is bigger than the other? They're all one one and the same. Not necessarily, but I feel like the way to eradicate them all would be to have them all in that's one a, mix. That was a big word. To tackle them all. To that tackle them, yeah, yeah, we gonna, we gonna dumb it down. To tackle them all. I said that was a big word. I just don't think. To it tackle them all, you know what I'm saying? That would be the, that would be the best way to do it. They but know. you don't feel like, but you don't feel like um, they need to do certain things first. You know, they need to get done with certain things before they can get that as a whole. See, them as a whole. We've been working, man. Like, let, let's think, man. We not. This isn't like a. We're just sitting down, you know what I'm saying, and this is the 60s, all right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely, they've been, been working. working. Everybody's been working. Go ahead, Separate, go ahead, say, what said me. Go ahead and say what you said to me. All right. when, when Kenel and Albert was talking, how you said women have been yeah, working. We're we about to have a woman president candidate, you know what I'm saying? We have Hillary Clinton, the, the wife of uh, Bill Clinton. Oh, she's, man, she's, going, she's um, going to be a candidate in this upcoming election. And she probably got a good shot, man. A lot of people are are, are, are with it. Her husband was a good, a great president for us. 
And uh, people are thinking that this that she's gonna rub off on her. And um, I can I can honestly say I don't see why yeah. not either. And that'd be a big step in feminism. It would be a big step for America, period. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the thing. Like right. we've been working, we've all been working separately. You know what I'm saying? And we've all failed. We've all been failing, but we all been, we've all made strides too. You know what I'm saying? Like we we we've made strides for women with their right to vote, but we still have. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Things like free the nipple that we're gonna talk on later. Okay, or we still have strides where black people do have the right to the, to vote. So let me ask you. We got beatings in the we got beatings in the street. Let I mean, me let me ask Kendall because we all on the same page. I just need we got your conclusion. I now now we need to hear he is. So, in 2015, is there a need for feminism? Yes. So Definitely what needs to happen mean. first before we can get total gender equality? Uh, well, I agree with your um. Actually, I just feel like everybody just needs to come together as one. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying like Randy's a second like Randy's issues at once? No, I wouldn't say that we, they tackle all the issues at once because I, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, that's that's a hard thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Trying to kill two so deal, one so, so just do it one like, thing at a time. I feel like, more. yeah, things should be done, you know, one at a time because... You know what I'm saying? To take a, a, a small step at a time, you know what I'm saying? Like everything wasn't all done at one time, you know, even right. even with the whole slavery thing and, and and you know what I'm saying, voting and stuff like that for, for black people in general, everything was done step by step and it was eased into it and it's not just all pushed upon, like everything is just shoved into like one big category and done in one day. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everything should be, you know what I'm saying, it should be steps to it, one thing at a time and everything should be solved like that. I don't feel like... Everybody. That's that's logical though because if you think about it and you look at the history of our country, you think about now that you know at one point in time, you know, interracial couples weren't allowed to get married in in, in certain states. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't be a black man and have a white wife or you know vice versa. You know that wasn't considered a marriage in the United States. But now you know what I'm saying like you know we we, we work past that and so now you know that's that's fine. You know it's it's, it's normal to see interracial couples. But then, you know, we had to work towards, you know, gay marriage and, you know, all of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so we took steps as a country, you know, we going up. And so, I mean, I got, that's what I'm saying. So, it's like, yeah, that's that's real logical. I mean, yeah. to think of it like that. So, yeah. of, you know what I'm saying? I don't see how you could just do everything at one. You know what right. I'm saying? That's, right. it, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's unreasonable. Well, I can say this. At least all of us in here um, still feel like there's a need for feminism and women aren't equal. And that they are making strides, and that certain things need to be done first before we can be totally equal as genders in society. Because there are people, let's be honest, there are people who don't even think, I mean, they think that women are equal, and there's just no point of this whole movement. Let's, let's just be honest. Right. Yeah. That so, is, I mean, at least true. we are making our strides to, I mean, at least, I mean, acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and try to give us, you know, suggestions on it. So, with saying that, you know, um, the feminists are having a movement called Free, free the Nipple. Can um, I take over it? You can go ahead. His favorite topic. I don't know. It might, it might be some girls, man. Might be <laughs> That was mine? Yeah. It's definitely yeah, man. man. Look, man. I, I, I kind of just brought the topic up. <laughs> Did some research on it before the show hit. The Freedom Never Movement, uh, like I said. Wow. Never mind. I got to call it. <laughs> Birds and the Bees, what's going on? Yo, yo. Hello? Yo, you online right now. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, oh, oh it wasn't our fault this time, guys. Hey, yeah, we got the line. We got the line straight, man. Y'all call back. Working. So yeah. keep going, Randy. Yeah, man, talking about the, the Freedom Nipple movement um, it just started up 2014, a couple months ago, and it, it stemmed from a movie. You know what I'm saying it was it was promoting women's rights and uh, advocating like the, we don't need censorship anymore. So women should be able to go topless um, in the streets. Um, if they're breastfeeding, because the, this is the thing. They, I saw a stat that said in 35 states, it's still illegal for women to be topless, including in, in, in like in public, including uh, breastfeeding, and that um, they can be jailed in the more stricter states like Louisiana, up to three years, and a $2,500 fine. Wow. Now I find I found that stat kind of that's ridiculous, r- drastic. You know what I'm saying? So I saw it years, and, and I was like, and decent exposure. And decent exposure yeah. I don't know. No, I mean I don't think no mom's gonna get locked up for breastfeeding their child for three years. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's how I saw it. But it's definitely wild that they have that. You know what I'm saying that that's a that's something that could, that could happen. 
Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and that's where they're going they're going about it. And just about um women free free and nipple, man. Just about being as equal as men and being I can pop top if I can walk if I can walk down the street, pop top through Heidelberg, a woman should be able to do the same thing. That's their whole movement. Yeah. All right, we uh we spoke about this though. We talked about it one day at, at the breakfast table, you know, um, <laughs> and uh you know there was an argument like like uh would it catch on? Yeah, like would it catch on or would it be like weird to people? You know what I'm saying? If if women were allowed to, you know, just uh, expose their chest like the way men do, like on a regular basis, like on TV or you know just chilling at the beach, you know what I'm saying? Or just you know walk around without a shirt on, like you can walk down the street without a shirt on or something, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, it was a it was a soft argument there as far as like would it be possible like, you know what I'm saying, would, would we still look at women like, oh my God, like she got she don't have a shirt on and stuff. And I and I, you know, I came at it like um <laughs> you know <laughs> cause real, real quick, now I don't, I don't wanna have to cut you off, but like this is where I feel like it's, a lot of it's stemming from. Because with those they got the when they when they when they have their chest out, their scene is is like it's sexual. And like oh, that stems know. from women being like sex. Nah, man. Go ahead, but they're, they're stemming from women Stop being called sexual objects. Like th- that's where that's where it's coming from. Women being objectified for their bodies, and that's where a lot of women are getting upset about it. And that's where a lot of the aggression is coming from with, with this nipple movement. But keep going. Okay, yeah. Well, the way I thought about it was like, um, I feel like you know, if if that was to to like actually happen, like the free nipple movement was to like. You know, come into play where women would be allowed to actually, you know, in a, um, you know, like in a like society, just go wear like no shirts or something. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> as as a man would, you know, I feel like we would like you would at first it would be kind of ridiculous <laughs> to see because we so you know we used to we, I'm 20 years old I'm used to women having to wear shirts and 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 bras and stuff like that, but. After a while, it would be like, you know what I'm saying, it would be normal. You know, Randy was going on saying that it just wouldn't be normal. He would still be looking at women like, oh my God, man. Yeah. So, can I, so can I grab this? Can I grab this one? Go ahead. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember the last table, um, I said, well, I agree with you. And my example was, um, so when slavery first happened in the United States, right, um, it might have been new to, you know, the generation that was doing it, but, you know, they were having kids, and the kids got used to it. So therefore, they grew up and they did it. And so on and so forth. And with racism, too. If you keep sitting up here and you keep um, teaching your kids about it and you keep explaining it to them, it's going to become a second nature to them. And that's just what they know, right? Right. So, therefore, if we teach our kids about, you know, it's okay to be out here with, you know, with your shirt off. And it's okay to be with that and third. It would catch on way faster. Exactly, because as a kid growing into it, that would be all that they know. That would be normal to them. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't know that there was a point like where you had to actually wear shirts and stuff so they'd be like you know they look at me like oh that's weird that y'all had to cover themselves up so you know what i'm saying like i feel like that movement should come into play because it would be i feel like it would be acceptable a- after a while but right now i feel like it's reached because of the inequality amongst women and men you know what i'm saying so like for them to have something like that it would i feel like it would be a reach as of right now but I do agree with the movement, though. I want to put that out there. I agree with the movement, though. So, go ahead and hit it, Juice. But, um, just to jump on, you know, like they were saying, like, you know, if it was to, you know, if it was to, you know, happen now. No, I'm sorry. That <laughs> <laughs> if it was to happen now, um, moms, go ahead and call in. Yeah. But, uh, if it was, no, that's fine. <laughs> you know, we take it all. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, talking, it, talking about the movement as a whole, man. Oh, yeah, if, if it was to happen now, man, I think it, it would be okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the children would be used to it. It wasn't what we were used to. So, I mean, you know, we were used to seeing, like, you know, the, the Hulk with the shirt off and, you know, everybody else. But it was like, you know, girls just weren't allowed to do stuff like I want, that. No, I want, and I, I want Kendall to give an example about the Hulk. Remember that? I forgot. I, I said that. Man. Oh, that was really yeah, 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 I, I said, said that about the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what if the, you know, the Hulk was a girl and, you know, her shirt just ripped and, you know, everything else. Like, is that, <laughs> like, like, that, like that's, not something, that's not something we were used to. Like, we, we wouldn't have done it. So, I mean, so, yeah. It's, it's but, funny now, but it's, yeah, it's funny but, now. But, but, but that actually started that, the kids, it would be normal to them. Exactly. It would have been normal to them. It would be normal to them. You know, if, it, if that's how it was back then. But, I mean, at the same time, I believe that the reason, because it's frowned upon, the movement's frowned upon now, 
is because a lot of women are, you know, seen as, you know, they... they but it's more than that, though. It's more than just... It's, you know, it's, it's more, more so promiscuous. It's more than, they just yeah. want to do it because they're, you know, conceived. But it's more than just... Whole, but, it's, whole, but it's more than just exposing the body. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like... It's just way more than that. Like, people just exactly. can't see past stuff. Like, it's, yeah. it's more than that. Dude, I feel like it's too late, man. It's... Sex sales, man. It's just too it's much like, I mean, in our society. It's a way to double standard. And have girls pop top everywhere. I just don't see the point in it. Wow. And I'm starting to get loud, man. My meter's going up <laughs> because I'm just starting, <laughs> it's starting to make me upset, man. I really, I want somebody to call in that's a freedom nipplish and let me know, man. Just let me know what's your take on it. I just don't see the point of you popping top at all. What's the point of you popping top, Randy? Wow. Because oh. I. Cause you what? Cause you feel like it? You don't feel like it. Okay, you're not allowed to because you got the weapons of mass destruction in your chest. Wow. Well, do they have weapons of mass destruction? Oh, no. That's right. A chest just like us, oh, man. I don't know. It's trying to keep sexualized. Sexual what is insexual? What about the, the people who are slightly overweight? What do they have? What is that? Weapons mean? of mass That's destruction on their chest as well. Oh, you're talking about overweight men. Overweight men. Yes. They're, they have weapons on their chest. They bounce. They have nipples. Oh, it's all the same thing. <laughs> what about them? You gotta be quiet. I uh, yeah, I don't I mean it's not the same, dude. It's just so not you the same. Say they should wear no. sexualized by nature. Like it's it's a thing. I'm not saying it's right, no, not but it is. Man. But it is. It's just the way society is right now, and it's no turning back. We just can't flip it in 2015. Like everything's gonna be okay. I I agree with you. I feel like that movement right now, it can't it's so slow for a girl popping top right now. Yeah, it just won't take it's off. It's not gonna right. happen. Yeah. So you disagree with like it's socially frowned upon, I'll say that. It's socially frowned what upon. What the hell? I, I really what you what really? You disagree with like stuff like new beaches? Broke it up out of this man. No, 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 man, like new beaches or whatever, you wanna kick it on the beach or something like that. I just don't see the point of it in public. What's the point? What is really the point? So Randy, do you support you don't me? Randy walk, I mean you Randy do you support me or not? Hey, where's Shelly at, man? He just said he just said he support well, no, he doesn't support it. I don't want to get into this. You, I just said I support it. What? Do, do you support the free nipple movement? No. I don't see the point of it. I so was you, talking this at the table. I just well, don't see okay, the point. Okay, okay, look, look, okay. People like you. It's not literally, like, literally, because you're making it, like, you're taking it in a literal sense. It's literally about popping top all the time. It's, it's just about gender equality. So they're taking that example of saying, okay, we, need, we can take a shirt off, so why is it legal for me to take my shirt off? That's what it's about. It's, it's about gender equality. It's not about literally doing. You understand know what I'm saying? I hear where you're coming from. I know exactly. I feel, what but you're I saying. feel like it's just too. You're taking it too much of a literal sense. Women get sexualized entirely too much for them to just take off to walk around with no shirts on, man. I, but that's in, but that's in this generation. So we are talking about you teach the kids about that and saying, okay, that's fine. Oh, you do what you want. What about what about a, a a woman who who is flat chested? They're still tits. Even if her chest is flatter than yours, she's still a woman. She's still a woman, dog. I can see breastfeeding. When we we're talking about that, you know what I'm saying, I feel like that's jacked up. You trying to feed your child? I don't care if it's in public. Maybe you, maybe you're homeless. You feel me? If you gotta feed your child, you gotta do what you gotta do. There's no reason why you should be arrested. You feel me? So that's that. That law should be out of here. But like, I, I can see the public indecency because it's sexualized. Like you can't just go out here and. and Dude, just wait till you get home and take your bra off and have that great feeling. Like I said, man, it's socially frowned upon. It's just not socially acceptable to do do certain things. Just like we was like when we talked about, uh, you know, we talked about the um, you know, would it be a, would it ever be okay to hit a female back? Like it's just not socially acceptable today to hit females, especially just in public. Like you know what I'm saying? It's just it's frowned <laughs> upon. Right? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's just certain stuff that that society has created that's just considered wrong. You know, I mean, it's, it's up to you to determine the personal preference, but I mean, hey. I don't, all right, man. So, all right, bet. You guys wouldn't have a problem with with your moms just walking around pop top. If the movement was acceptable, bro. It doesn't. Uh, all right, you guys are pushing for it to be acceptable. Your mother wanted to join the bandwagon with them, and she was just walking around pop top. If my you mom, for it. If my mom feels as if that she's not equal in this society, she feels as if this is going to help push a movement so that she can become equal, and I support anything she wants to do for it. You, because we can't sit I up agree here. With Andrew on that. Because we can't sit up here and get mad about whether it's indecent exposure or not, and halfway support the movement or not. You you can't this do true. that. So, yeah. So now I, I, you, I, would, I would have to say that. So now I mean, you feel like just because yeah. of 
of some breasts, you would you would want to go against the whole because oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you have to don't reach. <laughs> 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 he's 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 I don't think it's a Are you supporting the women in that aspect? Of what? Of of them want to be equal, like as far as clothing wise, like with with no shirt, free in the nipple. That's what you know exactly what I'm talking about. I see where, man. I do. People see that. I, 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 I do. do. I, it's not man, I see where it's coming from. We can't, like support, I see, we can't support the movement half. Like either. You, either but either but either no, 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 Women probably had this talk in high school. You know what I'm saying? We had dress codes and stuff like that. They couldn't wear their skirts up to yay high. I don't know what, you know what I'm talking about. That dress code was for dudes when I was in high school. Yup. Okay, okay. Our dress you code know, was for and say if they had to wear skirts that couldn't be so and so high. No, it was like that. It was. It's okay. a thing. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, no. I, I know I'm, I'm saying like, too, like, like, saying like they had the rule, but I'm saying that most of them, like like most dress code moves, like most people that they would get on was the dudes who come in sagging and doing. We're not talking like about dudes. That. No, no. So, but, I'm, okay. I'm saying what, what, what they would enforce <laughs> at my school. I hear you. But like what I'm saying with females though, like they did such a lot of on the movement. They're, they they set your eyes with clothes on. So with this, without a shirt on, it's going to be even crazier. That's all I'm saying. And it's not. I'm not saying it's. It should be like that, but that's just the way things are right now. Okay, Randy, do you, do you support the movement or not? That's all I'm asking. I want a girl to explain it to me. I don't want to hear y'all say it. I want to hear girls. I'm not, calling, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not explaining. I'm not explaining nothing. I'm asking. We would really appreciate some female callers on this topic. I, look, man, one, uh, I don't care about nothing. Yeah, thank you. Go. Go. Birds and the bees, hey boo. Hey, 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 I 
you know, in order in order to keep that equality, and keep the point. I'm doing this one of the guys, so you can you, you, you can tell them to put my head in my mouth because I'm moving, I'm being separated, then I'm being mad, I'm still doing it because it's still a good. Society's changing. Society is is changing over and over and over and over again. What what they used to call the feminine music, or the feminine music, they start talking about this. Okay, all right, let's get that now. Uh, all right, I understand exactly what you uh, what you say. You know what I'm saying? I think you you made a comment like, what if uh, you know, a bus driver is driving here uh, and he crashed the bus because he was staring too hard, or if another male was doing something and he stared too hard. You know what I'm saying? But you got to you gotta think about it like this. If it was to happen, you know what I'm saying, eventually it would be instilled into our brain to the point where, where we get used to it. Like, we get used to everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when you get, like, when you go into a men's locker room and, and people are in there for the football team and they're showering naked, you get used to seeing stuff like that because it, you're around it every day. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I, I understand that that's in private. <laughs> points that uh Avery's mom uh was saying but you know what I'm saying I just still can't agree I feel like oh, people are gonna get man. used to it Look, and, and you gotta think about that I asked my mom too I said I said do you do you are um do you agree with the movement like do you support the feminist movement I asked her do you support it or no and she said to a certain extent and you know that's what that's when they said when they all dawned on me you know what I'm saying because you know somebody I'm gonna go into example so somebody told me Wow. <laughs> Version of me. You know, what's, what's up? What up, what up? Uh, you know, I, I'm a witness, and I, I hate to disagree with a mom. Uh -oh. Basement man. But, you know, I disagree with a mom. Uh, an opinion is a pain. You can go ahead and disagree if you want to. Hmm. Like Kimberly said, um, and, and here's the perfect example I was I was waiting on your mom to, to you know to bow out so I can get on this phone and, oh, and give this perfect example. When you know you know a long time ago when there were still slaves, um, and slavery was ending, and, and, and people who were not used to seeing free black people roaming around, they were not used to seeing black people owning businesses. It was it was strange to even see, you know, a black person just walking down the street freely, right? Well, they got used to what's it. Up, what's up, why? They got used that to it. That same thought process to this situation. Used to be. Because it was just as drastic, if not more drastic. You know, because potentially the way that, that the minds work back then, going from seeing a, a person as a slave to seeing them as a regular, everyday individual, Society would be equivalent like if you if you saw your dog stand up and start walking on two feet because we were animals, right? 
True, true that, true that. True. Um, <laughs> for, for exactly what you're going for, you get used to these things that I have no. Yes, yeah. you're abnormal at first. Yes, you're extreme at first. Yes, you stare at first. Right. Just, just like when black people became, I don't want to say became humans, but when they became viewed as humans and as free people as opposed to animals and uh, partial human beings, it took time to be used to. Yes, there was staring. Yes, there was probably bumping into things from staring out at, at those animals that you saw, now free people. You know what I'm saying? These things do happen in society where a drastic change is made and, and it becomes, you know, uh, it becomes a huge thing to look at. That, that's the real thing, you know, when people went from walking, you know, to having automobiles, I'm sure it was a drastic thing to see that thing riding down the street. You know, these are all things that are equally at large in different manners that would all fall under the same argument, in my opinion. You know, I, that's the only reason I can agree because I know that our society has made it through seeing these things, you know. For example, when you went from a time of of only straight being allowed in society, yes, there's always been gay. Gay going all the way back to ancient Roman when that's where gay started. But now, you know, maybe 25 years ago, 40 years ago, you guys on the street and you see, you know, a, a homosexual male couple kissing, you might crash. It was literally that big of a deal. Now, you guys down, you see it, it's, it's nothing really. I mean, you might look at it, but at the end of the day, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? So just like that, you know, everything has its day, you know, if you, if you speak, don't, don't be a partial warrior, that's my thing. You know, I respect everybody's opinion, but don't say you're all for equality, and you want everybody to be equal, and you want to mix it, and you want all these different parts to go together, but that's not what you really want when you start breaking it down. Thank you, that's Ray. That's we that's definitely what I'm trying to hit. Need to know just like yes exactly. and do yeah. Oh man, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for that part, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Thank back for the wordplay Wednesday, Shirley. Back to the bar. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, All right, see, he had exactly what I was trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, it's just you, words from different mouth, people from different mouth different. and different perspectives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you got to think about it. Like I asked my mom, she was all in. She said to a certain extent, and I and I then, that's when I said, I said, you're not all in. How can you get to a goal if you're not putting your full effort towards something? Like you're half doing something. You how can you you know what I'm saying? How are you gonna get the best results if you're half doing it? How can you get to a, a certain point if you're only doing so much to get to that point? If you don't if you don't want that that whole, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing then you can't have to do it. Either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. You can't yeah. have step. In my opinion, yeah. Yeah. Hey, exactly. Hey, we playing big this ain't no half stepping. You need about to sit up here and bid nine, but you better bid ten, stop playing around with it. So I'm gonna say it like this. Okay. I agree with everything Kendall said. But what I'm saying is we in a different day and age, society is changing every single day. All the time. Over and over and all the time. It's like we're starting to have, like, people are just, parents are starting to become more, you know, okay with interracial relationships. They, you know, they come a, a long way. Like, and for example, and what I'm, and what, let me just say it like this. What I'm really saying is, if you just want to say, you know, I'm okay with where women at are today, then just say that. Right. Ain't nobody going to be able to look back. Ain't nobody going to say nothing like that. Ain't nobody just going to, you know, everybody's going to be okay with it. But if you're not okay with where they're at, you need to be all in on the movement, and you, I mean, you 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 just are. You can't be halfway in and halfway out. You, you you can't do that. There's just no way. And the thing is, like you know, every mom brought up some good points, and but Andre hit the hit it from the other side. So mm -hmm. it's like at the same time, it's always when she points. was saying, you know, you know, when women can be touched and on the street, all like that. I mean, yeah, it's it's a. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of twisted people out here who would, who would do stuff like that. But at the same time, if these women are willing to participate in stuff like that. That's their choice. That's what they're gonna do. So you know they gonna they gonna know what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Effect. So I mean it's it's I mean I mean we 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 all obviously males in here, so we gonna tell you what, how we think. But I mean it's only so I mean yeah we don't ever have Janessa in here to, to speak her part. <laughs> she plays but, yeah. <laughs> that's what she's supposed to be here. Yeah, that's what she's supposed to be here for. But she I mean yeah, and, and, you know at the, at the end of the day you know they they gotta make their own decisions because you know th that movement is about them. Exactly. But, but whether you support it or not, you can't be half in and half out. Exactly. You know, all right. That's what, uh, are you about to go ahead and get into some, uh, a couple songs real quick before we, uh, 
get back into the um, you know, Wednesday. Yep. Word play Wednesday, man. It's about that time. I think everybody in this room is ready. And we want y'all to call in too. So, um, yeah, that is getting whooped around by his mom. Come on, man. We have his back, man. Uh, all right, brother. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop these bars real quick. Birds and the bees, we'll be right back. What it do, what it is, what it ain't. You locked in the birds and the bees. WHER 88.9. I'm about to change the summer, man. We just had a listener all over our back, man. I don't care. <laughs> all over Juicy's back specifically. Oh, Wait, man. Poison Ivy is all over Hey, you should yeah, really want to some singing. Just listen to when we go. After 10 o'clock. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. We can't even do it today, though, man. Look out. Look outside, bro. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Today, man. Oh, 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 man. Any so, new, and if you have any new participants, the uh, phone number is 419-448-2200. Ivy. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's just thirsty. Call in the bars. It's getting towards the end of the semester. Everybody need hours. And we've been doing this. This is our studio. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're going to go so, ahead and get it okay. coming. All right. Okay. Everybody's annoying, man. It's all good, man. Let's go. Okay. I'll go first. Um, I wrote this in maybe like during, during our show, so bear with me. I like this one though. It's called I Can't Promise. I can't always go into that phone booth, put that S on my chest and change to the man you want me to be. But I will be the man you need me to be. I can't promise that every day will be sunshine and rainbows. Rather than I can promise it won't be filled with gats and fake Mississippi pimps with purple suits and gray kangos. <laughs> I can't promise that I love everything you make. Just like you can't promise that everything you bake will be great rather than it actually tastes like 12 bits of cement with icing on it and you can call it a cake. I can't promise that I won't go to my mom for a woman's opinion, but I can't promise that I won't leave the side like Don King at an Ali fight. I also can't promise that everything I said in this poem was complete bull and turn out to be the man that you want me to be and come out that boot, come out that, come out that boot so I can come and save you. There you go, Avery. You need to work on your delivery, boy. It's all good, <laughs> But man. it's a poem, and we love poems here. But what I'm saying, I had like a little bit of time, so I couldn't write this nothing. You were all you were tripping at the end, bro. Yeah, but it was so good. He came out of the He did. Yeah, but he said, it's a blue boy. I was like, that's 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 a I had to hurry. It takes time. You, you, you put us all. You rush us all into these these bars. It, it takes time. All right, there you go. I'm gonna say it's nice. Yo yo. Bars. Um, <laughs> bars. Uh -huh. Let's get it. Um, this is something I I, I wrote recently about um, you know, like strong, you know, black couples and power couples and stuff like that, and the fear that I have for the ones that are going to make it or not going to make it. And then, um, I feel for my brother. Oh, how I feel for my brother. He, he was born to a different mother, but that man is still my brother, and I feel for my sister-in-law. Because when it comes to power couples, the world don't want to see me with a pigment like y'all. They don't want to see a young, successful black family. They want to choose to be a baby mama, and you to be a baby daddy who left his home alone in the city street. Let some cars and women now, baby mama got to hit the streets and do something that she wouldn't have done just to make sure the women she left now have the means to live. Oh, how I feel for my brother and sister. They want you train and want liquor instead of a briefcase. So when they pull up on you and pull the trigger, it's a briefcase. Yeah. And now, what is my sister to do when their provider is gone and the kids need a briefcase? Oh, the fear I have for my sister and brother, what's the lover to do when you take their lover? She may never love again if he becomes the next taking black brother. We have to stand up for our brother. This is the fear I have. Oh, man. Wow. Hey. Do <laughs> 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 you ever see some means? Oh, he was hollering, bro. Really dope. Hey, you need, you need to go find game and go get signed. That's you need to wow. He said, what? He what did you say, man? I say that one was for the guys like Randy, you know, those strong couples that might actually make it. Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 man. All right, man. Uh, 
Wow. Randy gives us all faith. He is tiny, man. man. Yeah. Yeah, city, man. I don't think I understood what he said. So he went need a brief case. I was like, oh, I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, he got to find gay, man. I got a short rap. Let's go. So I'm going to uh, just go over for everybody because I just made this while I was in the studio. Randy was on my back, so. He was on our backs. Bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was on me and Avery's back, so. All right, um. Yeah, this don't even have no title in there. Just a couple bars real quick. But, uh, couple bars. Dapper and press. All chicks love a man who can dress with a queen with clean waves. Bet the swords will wet up your dress. Don't get sick. I recognize your shortage of breath. Is it true? I heard you love a man who bring home a check or a wad of cash. You know I make my money real fast and shoot boxes stash. Is it Jordan Sevens or Bands? I mean, I'm money hungry. Compton bread equated to cheese. I lost track. Like a loose stitch in the weed. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Shout out to the birds and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> you say hey, man. Is everybody just doing something silly today? Okay, I like that. Hey, man. That's you know, cool. I just silly today, man. I feel it. I, I thought I was coming on my words a little bit, but somebody had touched me. I think it was my mom's, but. Hey, we ain't having no time, so man. So you want to take us out now? So you, you want me to go? It's up to you, man. You ain't had this for a week now. All right, bro, man. I got you. Pray to pray. 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 Pray Something heavy on my mind that I need to get off. Excuse the slang and the grammar, just the way that I talk. Been 20 long years that I spent on the surf, learned from the good and the bad. Hear the pain and the hurt, and can't hide from my fight. Can't hide from these problems, time to face my fears. Yeah, losing loved ones, man, it is what it is. Had a lot bottled in, yeah, it's been some years. Still a strong black man, but I shed some tears. But I'ma lead by example, all lies on me. Yeah, I grind for my dog, ain't nothing for free. Said, I'ma lead by example, all lies on me. Yeah, I'ma grind for my dog, ain't nothing for free. Had to say it two times just in case the subject's trying to die. This dude's man, boy, and you know I've been a bit about it. <laughs> Me, man. Man, he's, ah, he's, he's so funny, man. Know, this dude, so funny, man. This dude, this dude, man. 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 This 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 dude, man. man. This dude, man. This dude, man. This man. This dude, 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 just thoughts on paper, man. All right. I woke up this morning, eyes red for no sleep. Big dreams, your boy wide awake, and if you don't work, you gon' eat. My stomach growling, only full with pride. I'ma swallow that ego aside. And if, it, and if it's team building and you die in a ride, you can join my squad, me, myself, and I. Might have thought he played his role. People thought it was a joke, though. But in every starting five lies a little bit of Ocho. <laughs> 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 he it. Oh, yeah. Hey, you hollering, boy. <laughs> You gonna, I, you, know, you gonna put him on and say the the man himself? He might as well. Go ahead and tag him in. It, you know that like, you know, you know, you know, you know stuff about himself. Upload the joint. Y'all are silly, man. But all right, that's uh, that's our show for today. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? We gonna Everybody, be thanks for listening. Back Monday. Yep. With some, uh, we appreciate else. all the new listeners. You know what I'm saying? For the yes. real ones, we appreciate Young Ivy, you too. Young Ivy, we appreciate you. Right, thanks man. for calling Let's in and participating, man. Most through the text and stuff, whoever, everybody who uh, Twitter, know about the topic and stuff. Yeah. Next time they stop having everybody texting. Call the yeah, phone lines, call everybody's on the freight, and everybody stop tweeting us and call us. That's Thanks. What we out of here. See you all on Monday. Sign us out. Birds and the bees, we out of here. Yeah. What's poppin'? This Juice, Randy, Avery, and Kendall. Be sure to listen to our show, The Birds and the Bees. Live Mondays and Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. You know we talking about everything your mama left out. Now let's get back to these bangers we got for y'all right now on WHEI 88.9. Yeah!